You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Maybe whoever's ringing that is just trying to distract us, create a diversion. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan, Lee! This is our best and only shot! You said so yourself back at the house! You agreed with me! Yeah, but that was before we... This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Better not. Gunfire would just bring more walkers. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Could be military tags. But what do they mean? Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Hello, beautiful. Empty. Been too easy. Empty. Somebody already cleaned this place out. Locked.
What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No sign of any boots down there. Nothing. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. The hell? Get down! Get down! Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. 
Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. That's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart... Smart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry, Bonnage. Just wanna get her back home. We're not going anywhere until I find us a goddamn boat. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! Come on, make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Get your ass out of there! God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open.
Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. things by myself. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. 
All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? I'll have time to rest later. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Clementine, you here? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? See her out there. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out, please! Doesn't look like she's in here. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. 
I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. This was here the whole time? I know, right? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. 
I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance? Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this! We have to! So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready.